This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You are watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. So after watching the Bob Arum and Frank Warren interviews over there on IFL TV, there was something that really stood out to me. In fact, quite a few things did, but one of them in particular was the fact that both of them were mentioning Sky Sports and Ben Shalom. Now, for those of you who don't know Ben Shalom, I'm sure most of you already do by now, he's the new lead promoter for Sky Sports. Of course, with his boxer company, B-O-X-X-E-R. I like Ben, met him on a couple of occasions, very, very brief conversations, comes across really cool. I've got a lot of time for him. I like him a lot, I really do. And of course, I support him. And I know him and Boxer, they do appreciate um, all the things that um, I've said and done with uh, Boxer and Sky Sports ever since their collaboration. Because I know a lot of you have been asking, why is it that um, I've been pushing and somewhat fanboying for them for quite some time? In fact, I may actually do a video on that, but not just yet, I'll wait until after the Eubank Williams card. Where I reckon, JJ? Shall I do it or not? Yeah, of course we will. Now, I did have to raise an eyebrow as to why Sky Sports and in particular Ben Shalom was mentioned by Bob Arum and Frank Warren. Ben Shalom has been speaking to both of them on behalf of Dillian White. Now, Dillian White has been working with Matchroom, Eddie Hearn, for a great number of years. In fact, all of his fights, ever since the Anthony Joshua fight, in fact, 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 even the fight before Joshua, was all on the Matchroom cards. Now, with Ben Shalom speaking to them, what does that mean? Now, I don't know what that means, but I do appreciate anything that Ben Shalom does with Dillian. Dillian is my guy, right? So, but I wasn't aware that Ben Shalom was even involved in any of the current talks. Don't be wrong, I mean, I haven't spoke to Dillian at length in um, a little while now, because obviously Dillian, again, a lot of you have been asking that question as well. Why is it that Dillian hasn't been saying anything? Reason being, he's still got this arbitration case going on. So anything that he says publicly may be twisted and used against him and all that kind of stuff. So that's why he hasn't been saying anything. Okay, now you know. Now, how would that look if you're Eddie Hearn and you're hearing that Ben Shalom has been speaking on behalf of Dillian White to Bob Arum and Frank Warren. Now, I don't really know what it is that Eddie Hearn will be thinking about that. Would he be okay with it? Maybe. Will he not be okay with it? Now, Dillian White, he's a free agent, okay? A free agent as in a free promotional agent. He manages him, um, himself, so he doesn't have a manager in that to uh, do all the, uh, the laundry in that for him. So... For me, and I'm sure most of you were under the impression that all the way through this negotiation, and of course many others, it's all been Eddie Hearn that's been doing it on behalf of Dillian and alongside with Dillian, because as I said, he's his own manager. So when I'm hearing the name Ben Shalom, I'm thinking, but Frank Warren, he's BT Sport. Ben Shalom is Sky Sports. So what's the connection? Obviously, they're rival promoters, right? BT Sport, Sky Sports, they're rivals for the, some part, for the most part. Now... With Bob Arum saying how Sky Sports have offered their platform to help with the Fury White fight. I'm presuming, could we take that as this possibility for a dual pay-per-view? Quite how that's going to work, I'm not entirely sure, because obviously it's a Frank Warren bid. BT Sport want this fight. If Sky Sports have the option for people to go watch it on Sky Sports, obviously... They're only going to get a portion of that money. Whereas BT Sport, if they didn't have Sky Sports on there and they're the only UK platform, obviously everybody's going to have to go to, to BT Sports. So therefore they get 100% of the pay-per-view when people click that button. If Sky Sports have it, obviously they're not going to get 100% of it because Sky Sports ain't, ain't, ain't going to do it for free, are they? Okay. Now, does this mean that Ben Shalom, Frank Warren and Bob Arum have all been working together, even though that Sky Sports, BT Sport, Frank Warren, Ben Shalom are somewhat rivals, but they put that aside just to make sure Eddie Hearn didn't win this fight. You've heard that saying, it's better, better than the devil you know. Maybe it's something to do with that. Um, have Sky Sports, or will they be funding some of that 41 million that Frank Warren has won the purse bid with. We know ESPN, of course, they've put in a chunk of money. 
and BT Sport are putting a chunk of money. They're going to have to work tooth and nail to try and claw as much of that back. They're going to have to hope for crazy amounts of pay-per-views, sell out the Principality Stadium, the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff, Wales, get as much sponsorship and advertisement and everything that they possibly can to claw that money back and hopefully make a profit. So have Sky Sports offered to fund some of that 41 million? Maybe they've done it beforehand, which is why boxer Sky Sports didn't put in a bid for themselves, because surely they would want it, surely. And as Bob Arum has a UK deal with Sky Sports, it would stand to reason, right? So maybe they decided, you know what, we'll take a back seat. Frank Warren wins the purse bid. We'll give them a bit of money to help with their bid, but we'll get a little slice of the fight. Maybe. Now, Bob Arum, he says that he's going to be coming over next week. There's maybe some kind of press conference. Um, and I'm presuming that Ben Shalom is going to be helping with Dillian White because Bob Arum, he wants to be speaking to Dillian White about this whole arbitration case. In other words, maybe offering him a bit of money to drop it. A bit more money. Maybe. Because obviously, if Dillian White continues with the arbitration and if he wins and he gets a a very high favourable decision from the arbitrator, i.e. say 40% or 45%, Bob Arum, or in particular Frank Warren, is going to have to stump up that extra money, aren't they? So it is going to be interesting. It's also going to be interesting to see what happens after this fight, win, lose or draw for Dillian. Is his days done with Matchroom? Is he now going to go over to Sky Sports? As we know, one of his fighters that he manages in Chris Congo is now with uh, Sky Sports. Quite what's happening with uh, Fabio Wardley. Well, he's going to be fighting on a, on a DAZN show. Adam Babbitt, she hasn't got a, di um, a fight date yet. So again, we don't know. This is business, right? Business. This isn't about friendship. This is about business. So it is interesting. But of course, I do have to ask the question. Is it a case of Ben Shalom, Frank Warren and Bob Arum all work together to make sure that... Frank Warren won this purse bid only to make sure Eddie Hearn didn't. Maybe, maybe yes, maybe no. Maybe I'm reaching a little bit too far. We don't know. Um, I mean, I, I will be speaking with Dylan at some point and I'm sure we'll get all kinds of answers. But at the minute, it does raise a lot of questions, doesn't it? It really does. Could we now start to see Frank Warren and Ben Shalom working together as in cross-promotion? Can we see some boxer fighters go over to BT Sports and BT Sports, um, uh, sorry, some Queensbury um, boxers go over to uh, Sky Sports as well? Could we start to see that? Maybe this is the start of a working relationship, which is something that I know boxing fans have been hoping that Eddie Hearn and Frank Warren had done, which for some reason they just don't really want to do that. So anyway, it's going to be very interesting, isn't it? Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next video.